Researchers say that cannabis could help in the fight against coronavirus. This is certainly intriguing. Let's go back to Tia who's getting a closer look. A lot of people are talking about this online today. The new study finds parts of hemp could actually block the virus from getting into human cells. Dr. Richard Van Bremen, a pr professor at Oregon State University, joins us live to talk more about this. Dr. Van Bremen, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Let's talk about this. What made you decide to do this research and how did you arrive at this particular conclusion? Well, we need new therapeutic agents to treat COVID and we need new therapeutic agents and approaches to prevent getting infected altogether. Vaccinations have done a lot for this. We now can protect people at least partially against getting infected. The virus keeps changing and we need new, new drugs to try. So we've been interested in finding new natural products and we turn to nature and botanicals, which are very complicated sources of natural products to look for these new therapeutic agents. And we used an analytical approach called affinity selection mass spectrometry to find compounds that could bind to the spike protein of the SARS coronavirus 2 that causes COVID and hopefully prevent it from entering human cells and infecting them in the first place. And with the help of a collaborator who is working with live virus, Kadu Tafeza at Oregon Health and Science University, our group here at Oregon State was able to uh, show that these compounds that we found in hemp can prevent that, that important step of uh, viral infection of the cell. Why did you decide to see if cannabis could actually help, help to prevent COVID? We turned initially to botanicals used as dietary supplements because these supplements have a long history now of being used by humans. And when you find a, an agent in a supplement that maybe has been used before, or we know how it's absorbed, how it reaches the bloodstream, how it might be converted through metabolism to other forms and eliminated, you can step a, a over, you know, go right beyond these really slow steps of proving safety in all sorts of preclinical trials. So. What I'm hoping is that we'll be able to develop very quickly now a hemp extract like existing dietary supplements that can move quickly, quickly to clinical trials for efficacy and safety so that we can establish the right dosage form and find out for sure if these compounds really work in preventing infection. And so right now, if you're exposed to somebody who's um, diagnosed with COVID, we go home and isolate and get tested and see if we get sick. Wouldn't it be nice if we could take a product like a dietary supplement made from hemp and stay healthy? You were talking about clinical trials and all of that. Uh, is there further research that needs to be done now on this? Absolutely. The next step, because we've completed the basic science step, we know the mechanism of action, how it should work, and we can predict what blood levels might be effective. We need now to partner with clinicians to do clinical trials to prove what dosage is necessary to be effective, and indeed how effective can, hemp, can these cannabinoids from hemp be. All right, Dr. Richard Van Bremen with Oregon State University, thank you so much for joining us and bringing your expertise here on First Step 4. Thank you, it's my pleasure.